What's going on everyone? Kevin Gallagher here with Gallagher Business Development and today I woke up feeling a little on the sick side. We went hiking for Mother's Day yesterday, a lovely hike that I thought was maybe going to be uh, an hour, maybe a couple of miles. Ended up being four miles, getting turned around and lost at one point, and many hours. So I woke up not only feeling a little bit dragging and tired, but also a bit of a cold as well. So I decided today in, in this video for this Monday, still on the quarantine, I don't even know how long it's been at this point. Quarantine's just been going on for what feels like forever. I miss you people. I miss you all very much. Uh, but. I woke up and said, let's create a video that'll be both fun and be something on the marketing consulting side. So I want to focus today on commercials, specifically TV advertising commercials. So let's get it going right now. Kicking things off, before we take a look at some absolute cringe-worthy commercials, I'm actually, I just want to touch on seven key factors of shooting a commercial. I think it's important to understand this, both for what we're going to be looking at and some of these just absolutely horrible commercials that have been made and have been released, but also I want us to take a look at how we as business owners can be making better commercials for both online uh, advertising, whether you're showing those commercials uh, on YouTube or social media, or maybe you're showing these commercials on TV. But no matter what, here are seven key aspects to filming a good commercial. First one, get their attention. You wanna do something within the first three seconds to capture your audience. You really wanna key in on, I don't know, something funny or something uh, patriotic or just some element that you can really zone in on to capture somebody's attention because you have to remember people hate watching commercials it's the thing they hate to do the most while watching TV but if you can do it effectively your commercials can become more like the previews to a movie which people will sit down and watch the previews so they know what's coming up commercials can do that the second one don't be boring Oh, please God, don't be boring. If you're boring, they'll get up and walk away. They won't even stick around to see your logo at the end. They'll have no idea what your commercial was for or about. Don't be boring. Number three, and I said this already in number one, focus on the first three seconds. Really zero in on what happens in that first three seconds. Great examples of this would be Geico ads, where when it pops on, you have a caveman trying to do something. You're immediately going to stop and at least say to yourself, what the heck is going on on my screen right now? Three seconds, first three seconds, extremely important. Number four, tell a story, some kind of story. It could have nothing to do with anything. Let's bring it back to actual commercials, the Mayhem commercials. They are telling a story of somebody who's actually going through some type of a crazy claim scenario. Uh, Farmers Insurance does this extremely well, where they tell a story. They take you from start to finish so that your brain processes it and understands that, yes, they can fulfill whatever the need is that they're trying to show you they can fulfill. Number five, brand recognition. Without brand recognition, your commercial's pointless. But brand recognition, some kind of a jingle, a tagline, a logo, something to hold people on to what your brand is, it's extremely important. Number six, good quality video and sound. I guess it's one thing if your advertising is going to go on social media or YouTube or something like that. Maybe having a lower quality video wouldn't be as big of a deal. But good quality video and sound. If somebody sees a commercial pop up on their TV and the video quality or the sound quality is a little off, they're not going to keep watching. They're just not. You need to understand that. They are not going to keep watching. So it is insanely important for you to focus in on how your commercial looks, how it's been cut together, and how does the sound come off. And lastly, number seven, communicate one message at a time. Any more than that, people are confused. You're either putting out something that is about a product, you're being patriotic, you're doing something funny, you, but no matter what, the focus is on one product line or one message. 
Examples of companies that do great commercials, I've already mentioned some of them. Uh, Budweiser, Geico, Progressive, Doritos. Doritos makes awesome commercials. I mean, Doritos commercials, it's product placement with some kind of an awesome thing, some awesome story happening. It's genius. But the point there is, their commercials are fantastic. And there's various other brands with great commercials out there. But these were just some that I just thought of and put down, but just right off the top of my head, just some that I thought that have just exceptional branded commercials that tell great stories. We see them at the Super Bowl all the time. They're awesome commercials. In fact, you know what? I made a video around the Super Bowl time period about the Super Bowl ads um, where a lot of those companies are featured. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that pops up right now so you can click and check that video out because there's just some really amazing commercials. And now, for the part of this video that you've actually tuned in for, funny, cringeworthy, painful commercials. Here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go on YouTube. I'm going to scour the web. I'm going to scour. I'm going to search for... Why can't I, why can't I think of a better word right now? It's Monday. I love Monday, but the, the hamster still is not on the wheel right now, even though it's Monday. But I'm going to search YouTube and the web to try to find some of the greatest... I shouldn't say greatest. Some of the cringiest, horrible, most painfully terrible commercials ever made. We're gonna watch them together. I'm gonna react to them, you're gonna react to them, but no matter what, we are gonna laugh. So let's go ahead with our first commercial. And forgive me for looking down, you can't see. I A lot of YouTubers have these really amazing studios where they have different areas they could work in, nice high tables, everything. I'm still working my way to that. This is my desk in my office with just a good camera and some nice lighting and a good microphone. So, bear with me but what i'm doing right now is i am going to youtube and i'm gonna search up some okay the boom boom oh bang bang boom boom ladies we're going on an adventure and i'm just looking at the thumbnail art and i'm just it, i just know it's gonna be good so the so let's get let's just let's do it thinking of the holidays think bang bang that's hot. Uh, 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 boom, boom, boom. We have a huge selection of 500 grams to light up your sky. That's no. hot. Hot, uh, hot, uh, hot. Uh, I, I want to get three free. I want to start by saying, <laughs> thank God the video quality is so bad on this group. You can't even make out their faces on here. And that's good for them because, look, this is hilarious. Ladies, I'm not trying to shame you at all. Have at it. Okay, but this is hilariously cheesy and painful, but let's keep going. Now that's hot. Come see the Bang Bang Lady on 431 South, just eight miles south of the 285 Ave. How cool, how hot. How to see problem for your fireworks at Fireworks Outlet. Oh, gosh, no, thank you. Listen, there's so much wrong with that commercial. There's just so much wrong with that commercial. I, when you go back to the, the keys to making a good commercial and you just roll through them, look, let's put it to you like this. Did they get my attention and focus on the first three seconds? They did that. Video quality, sound quality, eh. Video quality was really bad, but sound quality, at least you could hear them pretty well. Um, but come on, people. That is just... Unless that's what they were going for, I think the... Uh, Oh, that's hot, lady was my favorite one. The, uh, like, like she's had about like five packs of cigarettes a day and a bottle of Jack Daniels. But listen, ladies, like I said, if you're watching this, I respect. I've got respect for you and what you've done. I just think it's hilarious to watch. It is internet gold. Internet gold when you do something like that. Because listen, maybe that commercial didn't work on the air. But I'll tell you right now, I guarantee you, People went to buy fireworks from them after it went viral just simply because they wanted to meet the Boom Boom Ladies. How cool her hot? I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. How cool her hot? All right, let's keep going. Let's look for some more here. You need to know something about me. I have a hard time with car dealerships. Everything about car dealerships, sales, their marketing, um, I, don't, I don't like them at all. I, I really struggle with car dealership sales and marketing. 
because it's never good. Um, I don't feel that they ever do a good job of it. I So many times it comes off as inauthentic and cheesy and corny. There's one down by me, and he does this thing where he goes around to local small businesses to talk about commercial vehicles and yada yada. And everything about it is just corny and unauthentic. And so when I find some gems like this one we're about to watch right now, when I find a little gem like this, it makes me stop. And I am very excited. Let's go, let's go. I've only watched a couple seconds of it without you. Let's get right into it right now because this is just priceless. Here we go. Say it ain't so, man. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a credit, my daddy. I'm dying inside right now. My daddy is in the house, walking, talking, bringing it down. I know what you need. You need a car. One that looks good, that'll take you very far. Got credit problems? Not these days. The credit Mac daddy gets you out of the haze. If you got a good job, it's... I'm going to point something out really fast here for a second. I'm actually somewhat impressed with his flow. Uh... His flow could be worse, okay? Like, when you think about, like, I hate to say it like this, when you think about white people rapping, it's not, there's, there's less unicorns than there are, everybody thinks they're Eminem, but really they just come off as Vanilla Ice. No offense, Vanilla Ice, you're just not as good as Eminem. I'm just saying, I'm just gonna put that out there, but let's, let's just keep watching. But the point of that, of what I say here is, his flow, could be worse. Seven ninety nine, call the credit Mac Daddy, leave your worries behind. Georgia car credit in Moultrie, Tifton, and Thomasville. Soon to be in Albany and Valdosta. And then you see him here in like a Hawaiian shirt, like in Thomasville. It's just hard to believe it's the same guy. It's hard to believe that this guy is the credit, the credit Mac Daddy. Great cars, no credit check. It's as easy as pie. There is not one, but two car dealership hip hop commercials, which leads me down a road of there's probably more like two dozen of them. All right, so I am looking at just the screen grab that I have up on my screen right now as I'm moving to record. And this is not going to be fun. You get ready, you get ready for this. All right, here we go. My name is Cecil. I'll sell you gas or diesel cars on my lot. Some of them new, some of them not. Oh. I got a tricked out no. crew. They got one job to do. Tend to your needs, take good care. Make sure they treat you. Did this little old man just say, I got a tricked out crew? And look at his tricked out crew in the background. I wouldn't say a single one of these cats is a tricked out anything, let alone a tricked out crew. I mean, like. This is the definition of white people dancing. This is why when you go to a, a wedding, you don't feel nervous about hitting the dance floor as a white person because you're probably the best one on the on the dance floor. There's literally a guy like, like this right now on that dance floor. And then for him to be like, we sell gas or diesel, cars. Oh gosh, Cecil, somebody done did you wrong. Let's. We're bringing this thing through to the end though. We're watching the whole thing. Honest and fair. So many deals far and above. One of these babies you're sure to love. Come find a car and we'll do our part. Cause I'm Cecil Myers, the dealer with a heart. Oh, I am hurting inside right now. Now, he did convey a message, but this is this hurts me. This hurts me. I mean it's just look, are they throwing up gang signs in the background? Are they throwing they're doing Cecil Myers in the background. They're throwing up CMs in the background with this man with a sideways hat like this. You can't wear a sideways hat and suspenders. No, you cannot pull off both. You can have one or the other, sir. You either have a sideways hat and your pants sagging, or you have suspenders and you just choose not to rap. And just when you thought the car dealership game 
couldn't get worse. This is why I say car dealership marketing needs to be completely rehabbed because this stuff is painful. This just look, I watched I have to watch 30 seconds of each one to determine if I think it's going to be cringeworthy or not. People, let's, let's do it. I'm here at JMP Automart where they've been selling quality pre-owned vehicles for over 50 years. As you know, the new generation has been dealing and accepting all reasonable offers. All of these great deals have forced us to increase our inventory. We have models for all your needs. Let's take a look. Listen. I don't want to, I'm not trying to shame anybody. I mean, look at this forehead. I could sell ad space. I could put a billboard up here and sell space for people to put their brands on my forehead as I'm making commercials and walking around. I could do it. I could honestly do it. But this person looks like they could be Donald Trump's daughter. I mean, and, and no offense. I'm not trying to knock anybody who likes Donald Trump or doesn't. She is wearing an orange shirt with orange skin and her hair is bleached so much that it's practically orange. And on top of that, she looks like she's uncomfortable sitting on that car and her delivery is monotone. It's literally like, let's face it, uh, this generation's blah, blah, blah. Like, read the cards ahead of time. Know the information that you're talking about so that you don't sound like you're monotone reading off of cue cards. I don't think I'm asking too much here. Not that model. This model. Not that model. This model. Not no. That model. This model. Check this out. Both of our vehicles come back to the three months or Bro, put on some sleeves. Like look look at this guy. It's not like he's the rock and he's in a sleeveless shirt. You can't just roll up in cargo pants and a sleeveless shirt on a commercial this is your company commercial, man. This was on TV. And then for it to be like not this model, this model. Like, put some action into it, put some effort. Try to sound like you are excited to be on TV. I know acting is hard. I 100% know it's hard. But, not this model, this model. I don't, like, what is that? I can't. Let's get out of car dealership world. Let's go with something else. <clears throat> Let's find, I found this one, um, I found this one, Sir Cringe video compilation of bad commercials. They're pretty bad, the, all the ones they have on there. And he had, the, the Sir Cringe had this one as well as some of the ones we've seen already. But this one is Woods Boots, WB Woods Boots. I'm gonna let you judge for yourself why this one's so painful, but there's a million reasons. Like every single one of these, there is a million reasons <clears throat> why these commercials are so bad. But let's check this one out. You know, miss me short term, but so. First off, let's talk about how creepy it is that this dude was watching her shop, knew what she was holding on to, and just appears out of the blue as she's walking into a dressing room where she's going to be taking her clothes off. Super creepy, bro. Hello. Really? Why do they sell so good? Because they make you look so good. So, what do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh. I refuse. I'm not even going to talk about that one. Here is another one. This one actually came from a friend of mine said make sure you watch this one. It's called Pizza and Go. Here it is. First time both of us are watching it. All right. Making the pizza. Making the pizza. Sprinkle the cheese. Sprinkle the cheese. What the hell is this? Hey, if you're looking for the best pizza, Why even be on the screen? Stuff, give us a try. Eat in, take out, or deliver to your door. The huge line of specialty pizzas are second to none. And we have three different restaurants to choose from. That I'm starting to feel sexually harassed by this commercial. I mean, what, what is he doing here? What is that move? Everything about this. Is this guy real life? Like, I don't understand this. Why would you put this commercial on the air, on the internet, anywhere? Get the guy completely off the screen and just talk about your pizza place. The pizza should sell itself, but what's the deal? Okay, so they're trying to create brand recognition. That's what they're trying to do. However, it's falling flat because it's too corny, people. Oh. What is that dance move? Three, Gang Mills, Lawrenceville, Elkland, making the pizza. 
making the pizza. So stop on down to one of three great locations or call us up to let our crews hook you no. up. Oh yeah. No. Nope. 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 No. Nope. 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 No. Um. You don't. No. You're a grown ass man. You don't shake your butt around on TV. You, especially in a corny commercial like that pizza commercial, you do. Nope. No. No. Not gonna spend time. Not gonna. You saw it for yourself. You know it was bad. Not gonna talk about it. All right. So this one I found is called the Mattress Ranch. So let's give it a shot. Now so far, these have all. These have all been just outright terrible, right? I need something to raise my spirits again. I need something to bring me back. Let's get away from the cringe and just watch something joyful. And I'm looking at this young man here. I feel like this is our guy. So let's give him a shot. Store. If you're in the market for a mattress, we like you to shop our competition. We have a selection that's really big. This guy looks like an actual cartoon. I mean, he's got a SpongeBob tie. He looks like a walking McDonald's store. Shop the competition, then and come on into my store, both in Wasilla and Anchorage. Or sleep that count sheep and have another night of bliss. Across from the bus barn in Wasilla, now is where we is. Save more bucks at the mattress ranch. Anchorage. With how redneck that commercial was, I expected it to be like in Alabama or something like that. This was from Anchorage. That today surprised me. That surprised me. So look, Mattress Ranch. It looks like he's got a whole slew of these on Facebook. It brought joy. It brought me back to hope. I mean, it wasn't a horrible commercial. He caught everybody's attention. He was dressed extremely flashily. And if you look at him in his little jingle in the end, which he used some brand recognition with a jingle, proud of you there, big guy. He was dressed very nice in that, but he looked like a walking cartoon up until that point. So, but you know, it brought me back. It brought me back to a point where I could feel uh, comfortable to be a human being again. All right, this one is called Crusha, and here we go. Oh my gosh. What? Whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> oh gosh. These poor cows. Oh, Lord, save me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh, that is awesome. This one scratches. This one, if I was coming back to mankind, this brought me fully back. I understand why this falls under cringeworthy commercials because this comes up when you search for that kind of thing. However, I actually think this is genius. This reminds me of, and I talked about it earlier in the video, the um, Quizno Subs commercials. They had that one, Quizno Subs, it gets a dollar off. It's almost exactly the same thing. It catches your attention, it's got a jingle, they're repeating their brand. By the time it's done, you already know. I mean, we just watched the mattress one, couldn't tell you what the name of the mat was, a mattress ranch. Mattress, it's mattress Barn, but I will remember Crusha for all of my days. In fact, I want to find this product and I want to try it. I'm sure it's not here in the U.S. because um, it's probably disgusting, but uh, I want to find this product and try it. This is the kind of commercial that is just genius. I mean, honestly. All right, and this next one is for everybody who gets to September they're looking for a place to shop for their back to school clothes. So they say, hey, I wanna, what mall is the best mall to go to? Obviously, that mall is the East Hills Mall. Wait till you see this one. East Hills. And pants and boots and pants. New shoes. Get yourself an outfit. Denim. Boots and pants and boots and pants. Haircut. New shoes. I'm gonna make you watch the whole thing. 
there's a right and wrong way to do this, people. What you need to do is, you need to record the song in its entirety. Have somebody sing it so that everyone who comes on knows exactly what their part is. You have to write the song. You can't literally just take a microphone outside of American Eagle and basically say to the manager of American Eagle, hey, can you come out and say some, and sing something? Boots and shoes and boots and sh You have to do this and then take that musical product so that everybody's in the same key. And if they send somebody out who can't sing, then it's really simple here, people. They don't get to sing. You do have somebody else do it. I wanna say thank you because some of these commercials have been absolute downright horrific, painful, terrible. And I wanna reward you by giving you what is one of the worst commercials I have ever seen in my life. This is the Norton Furniture Outlet. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna hit play. I'm gonna hit play and we are all going to enjoy, pick up your coffee, have a sip, sit back, and enjoy the show. Good news for people that have credit problems. Norton Furniture is here for you. Now, seriously, if you can't get credit in my store, you can't get credit anywhere. Oof. My name is Mark, and you can count on it. Hey, hey, hey. If car dealerships have some of the worst marketing, this guy must have used to sell cars because he should be put in prison for this commercial. Get somebody to edit your commercial. First off, I, I see, I don't like saying things about people because I don't want to be mean. That's not what I want to do here. But like, if you have credit problems, come on down. If you can't get credit from me, you can't get credit anywhere. If you're going to dramatic pause in weird and odd ways, cut those pauses out. You know how many times I make mistakes when I'm shooting these videos and I just cut, clip it together? It's very common. Everyone does it. I don't even try to hide it. I will literally be like, blah, 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 and then clip it to this. I, I don't even try to pretend like I'm the greatest of all time at that. I am not, by the way. And some of my videos painfully show it. But, my man, cut those dead spaces out. And then what's the deal with this guy with his hedge clippers popping out in the end? You trying to terrify everyone? I don't get what you're trying to appeal to in all of this. Now, let's just say, does he grab your attention off the spot? Start? Yeah, sure. His, his voice grabs your attention. But you can't make it to that crazy end part because you've been bored to death from there to here. Ooh. And by the way, that is a 100% real commercial. That is a 100% real business because while, before I hit play, I went online to research to make sure that this place really exists, and it does. Go by and see Mark today. I just, that's bad. But it's not the worst thing we've seen all day today. This is a video I saved for last on purpose. If you have kids, you know what Kinder Eggs are. Kinder Eggs are these little surprise toy inside uh, chocolate eggs. I guess they're a British company. This was a commercial that was aired in England and it is the stuff of nightmares. So this is the one we're gonna end on right now. Oh my gosh. I'm straight up terrified. This commercial terrifies me. I get that he's supposed to be Humpty Dumpty, but Humpty Dumpty doesn't have skin, people. He's an egg. Why would you give him skin and facial features like a human being? This looks like the creepiest possible dude in the world sitting on a wall waiting to abduct children as they walk by. There's nothing good 
about what's going on here. And every word out of his mouth is something that I feel like, after having watched this, I feel like tonight when I go to bed, I'm not gonna sleep well. Scribbly doobie, like what the frick is he talking about? Take this commercial and make it disappear so my eyes will never be burned with the horribleness of what I've just seen again. Please, God, this, you know what? Let's do something interesting. Comment below with which video you think was the worst one. I'm telling you right now, this one for me was the worst one, but I want you to comment below. I also want you to comment below with other cringe-worthy commercials. Throw some links down there. I would love to make a second video about this because commercials are such a big part of our TV watching. And if you don't have a DVR, you can't fast forward. So you're watching or getting up to go to the bathroom, but there are some painful commercials out there. We have seen a lot of them today. We've talked about them. And I hope, look, if anything, Granted, we're sitting here making fun of these commercials. I hope they bring you some joy because at the end of the day, right now with everything going on with coronavirus and the quarantine, we've got to laugh, people. You got to stop and take some time to just laugh and these commercials do that for us. Also, if you don't mind, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, and if you're up for it, hit the alert so you can stay up to date and watch my videos in real time as they come out. Otherwise, guys, I wish y'all the best. Hang in there, stay healthy, stay safe, and if you're a small business owner, be small, think big. Let's go, have a great day everyone.